We'll start out by adding in the vertical components, which will frame out the drawer cavities. I can rough cut them to length and verify the cuts are nice and square and make any tweaks as necessary. I'll cut a 45 degree bevel on one end to get it to exactly the same height as the case sides. With all the cuts on these tall dividers complete, they can be joined to the case. I'm using the domino again and using a piece of MDF with parallel edges to place the divider parallel to the sides of the case. Next, I can run through the process of making the sides of that middle drawer compartment. The process for these is the same, but these just get glued to the taller dividers. Now for some bottoms. Again, checking for accuracy as I go, I'll make the bevel cuts on each end so it fits between the vertical components. To get the panels to drop in, I'll use some clamps to pull the verticals over a bit, widen the top enough for the dominoes to drop in. A bajillion clamps on the calls and these case bottoms are all set. Next, I'll add in the center compartment bottom. Similarly, the case needs to be flexed a bit to allow the dominoes to go in. This time, I'll bend the top by clamping it across a block of wood. Once the joinery is seated, I can remove the block so the case is sitting flat on the bench and add a few more clamps. 